I don't want to get muted on Facebook. What is up, everybody? What is up? It is Wednesday. That means it is What's Up Wednesday. It is 8 o'clock on the dot right here in Hometown Hippie headquarters. And we have a lot to talk about for What's Up tonight. I just tagged a bunch of you in a post to remind you that I'm going live tonight. If you see no other live today, this is the one you want to see, especially if you're a Grateful Fed member. I'm going to give you all a second because I know the internet is stupid and we got storms coming through tonight, but I want to give you all a moment. I know there is a lag. It's about a minute because about a minute into everything. So people start jumping on and they start seeing the beginning and it just happened. The one just jumped on. So as always, do me a favor. I have a list tonight to do a lot of stuff to go over. As always tonight, we're going to ask that you um, drop a grateful fed in the comments and say hello and tell us where you're watching from. So as always, say hello. Tell me where you're watching from tonight. What is up? Hey, Kathy. Look, I can. Hello. How are you? A uh, long time. No talk. Uh, we have lots of big news tonight. So make sure you're jumping on here. Now, uh, I said, say hello. Drop me a grateful fed in the comments. I am live in a couple of places tonight. So the places that I'm live tonight, number one, I'm live on the hometown hippie business page. So hello, everybody from the hometown hippie business business page. I am live on my YouTube channel and I have a contest going on. We're trying to get a hundred people over there. We might have them already. I'm not sure, but we're trying to get the, the YouTube to get up and running because we have some fun things going to happen over there soon too. So make sure if you've not already done so, uh, go over to YouTube, search me. You'll find me, give me a little subscribe button and some hearts and all the things and likes. What's up Farmville? Um, now I'm also live in the hometown at the private elevated edibles group. Uh, what is up, Grateful Fed members? Whoop, whoop. Uh, hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad you're jumping on here tonight. Do me a favor. Do all the things that are I'm telling you to do down here. And then I do see that I have a Facebook user. Make sure you're giving StreamYard permission to see your name so that I can give you credit for saying hi and being here tonight. Uh, it also says Grateful Fed here. Hi, Ashley. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that compliment. I actually put a little face on today. There's my girlfriend from up from up in Toledo, Ohio, Miss Heather Zoll. Hello, Jones. I want to say it French. Makes me feel special. And her grateful fedding it up. What is up from Farmville, Virginia? Uh, lots of exciting things happening. So hello, 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 hello. Tag her friend in the comments. Get people here because you do not want to miss this news tonight. It's huge. It's big. It's a big deal. Uh, it'll be a bunch of gossip in my hometown tomorrow. It's a big deal. So go ahead and tag people below because I'm going to announce something humongous in just a little bit. Okay. Now, a um, couple of things I do want to tell you uh, before we get the big, big news. We have what's up. So if you are brand new and you're seeing us on one of these platforms that maybe you're like, who in the hell is that lady and what in the hell is she talking about? Hi, I'm Tammy and I'm the Hamstown Hippie. <laughs> and on Wednesday nights, uh, we get together and we talk about what's up. And tonight, there's a lot of things that are up. Uh, I am hailing from Farmville, Virginia, which is right in the central part of the, we call, we call it the heart of Virginia. We actually have a festival here each year car, called, 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 or named the Heart of Virginia Festival because we are the heart of Virginia. The High Bridge Trail runs through our little area. We have lots of historical pieces and parts. We have green cut furniture. We have two universities where I'm from. If you're not from here, that's what's kind of going on in our hometown. And the reason that I am the hometown hippie is because I believe very, 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 very firmly that you cannot, uh, as one person, go out and immediately change the world. The world has got a lot of crazy things going on. And as one human being, I cannot go out and I cannot change the world. But every single day, I believe as a human being and as an individual in this world that I can go out and I can change the world for one other person every day. And then every day you do it for one person and then it starts with one hometown one county one city one state one country and then the world and to be a good global citizen of main street and that's why i'm the hometown hippie because i'm here to say that it's important to grow where your planet right grow where your planet and i want to make sure that everybody knows that i would love for you to become your very own hometown hippie and the news that i'm telling you about tonight is the very first um 
is the very first seed that I'm planting in the hometown hippie garden to plant, I hope, lots of other hometown hippies around the world. Now, do me a favor. If you are your hometown hippie, uh, hashtag hometown hippie where you are and give me your city and state. Tell me where you're the hometown hippie from, right? Um, we have lots of big news tonight and power of one is a big part of it, right? So let's talk about the first part of the big news. One of the things that I have been working on as an individual, right, as an individual, um, is that I am really uh, excited to work. Uh, hello, Lisa Phillips. Uh, hello, hello, hello from Kentucky. So tell me, where are you your, where, where are you a hometown hippie? Like, where are your city and state, right? Um, so the first thing I want to talk about tonight is an opportunity that I have been uh, invited to be a part of that I'm super excited about. So as you know, we're all about intentional cooking here at Hometown Hippie, and I say why Hometown Hippie, because I cook with love and healing in mind. There is everything that I do when I when I make your uh, elevated treats, and from the ingredients to the magic that's stirred into it, um, is elevated. And I uh, recently finished my level one Reiki attunement, and I'm now a level one Reiki healer. So the food is Reiki infused, and part of my mission was to help people to live a life that is to their highest and best, right? While raising the collective vibration and allowing you to utilize cannabis and plants over pills or plant-based medicine. Uh, and plant-based medicine is not just about cannabis, right? We talk about that a lot. Um, we, but a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. But we also talk about um, whole foods and good food in and good, um, th good output. So, um, and for me, it's also about um, food being very much a um, all of your senses, right? All of your senses thing. I ordered 420 cookies this time with my carrot cake. Yes, they're phenomenal, right? And um, so what I'm saying is part of the whole thing is not just the cannabis piece. It's the spirituality piece because not only is the cannabis part of the medicine, um, but the magic is also part of the medicine. So as a light worker, I am helping to infuse um, the things in which you use for your chronic pain or your insomnia or your anxiety or your gastroparesis or your um, bad mood or your uh, depression, right? A lot of depression, a lot of sleep, a lot of chronic pain. A lot of times it's just what you choose to use to have a really fun night with your girlfriends or your guy friends or whoever. And it's just kind of your like giggle night, right? It's kind of your giggle night. It's kind of the thing that helps you drop your shoulders, release the tension from your draw, jaw and set the stress aside of the week away to be able to kind of enjoy the company of others. So with that being said, um, I am also very much about um, empowering people and uh, being an advocate and an educator on all of these topics. And I have been feeling very much imposter syndrome and not feeling confident to stand in my power. And I am really have been really working on that personally. So tonight's messages, tonight's, tonight's what's up to a lot of those things. So the first thing we're going to talk about tonight is the fact that I have been invited and I have accepted an opportunity. And because of that, we've gotten some little d things for you all. But I am going to be um, being a guest at the 420, um, the farm, second 40 to 420. It's a Canna friendly um, bud and breakfast resort. Uh, retreat. They have got primitive camping. They have yurt camping. They have camper camping. But this weekend, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, we're going to go check in next Friday, August 19th. And we are going to spend Friday evening, Saturday all day, Sunday morning together in um, a wonderful retreat setting. We're going to have meditations, Reiki, puff and paints, infused dinners. I'm going to be leading a, um, let me put my um, graphics up. I've done all the work for it. I might as well. Um, I will be doing a Blazing Gaze meditation workshop on Saturday and Sunday, August 21st. So next Sunday morning, Sunday sermon will be live. I've never done one of these in person before. So I am super excited for that. And lots of you ladies have said you're going to be joining me. And because we are a VIP group, the Grateful Fed, we can get some um, special pricing. So if you would like to attend, uh, it's going to be, it's going to give you, um, let me go to the next page on this so you can see what you're getting for this. You are going to be getting um, 
so we can relax, heal, and create intention for the upcoming school year, right? All of us have been affected by COVID in some way, and as things have started to return to normal, there's no better time than now to start living every day since your last. Uh, life is short, and the farm is a place to create family memories that will last a lifetime. So what they're offering is um, we're going to be doing uh, communal meals. They're going to be infused meals, organic meals cooked there. There will be tons of um, amazing things to kind of partake of, right? There's going to be cannabis available. Uh, you know, we can share. I'm going to be bringing pre-rolls for my gaze and blaze meditation, right? Um, and then uh, there will be vendor fairs there. There will be tarot. There will be, you name it. If you're thinking we will be there and we can, hey, Aaron, we are going to be getting a um, discounted rate um, to be able to camp here. And so I am super excited. If we can get to 15 people, our rate drops significantly again. So it would save everybody a ton of money if 15 of us can get together. Uh, I think we're about at like six right now. So we're going to need a few people to say, yep, I'm in for it. It's in Pamplin, Virginia. It's going to be a great time and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's an itinerary that's been put up. I'm trying to see if I can find that. So yeah, so Friday evening gates will open at three. There'll be a puff and paint. Uh, well, there'll be a meet and greet at 420. We'll meet together. Um, there will be, uh, well, Aaron, it's a female only retreat. It's only for women only. So you would not be able to attend this. But uh, Isis could, your, your lovely wife could. Uh, six o'clock is a puff and paint under the trees. Uh, this might be updated a little bit. 7.30, there's a communal dinner. Uh, 8.30, a movie night. Um, there's going to be some sunrise sound baths. Um, there's going to be breakfast, yoga, hiking, kickball, volleyball, communal lunches, um, puff and paint, I mean, a, a blazing gaze, uh, meet and greets, vendor markets, infused dinner, drum circle, and then a pool party with DJ. It's going to be a phenomenal time. And I am so very excited to be able to be a part of it and be asked to participate in a way that is uh, as an educator and an advocate an advocator. So I am super excited for that. And I'm stepping into my power. I said, yes. Now I did say that I'm not a roughing it kind of gal. Cause y'all know I don't do like, I don't, I'm hippie. -ish. Yeah. Red says my idea of roughing it is not having room service. So I will have, I did upgrade my accommodations. Just, I did, <laughs> I just did. I had to stay in something with like, I had to. I had to. I just can't. My, my, my body hurts too bad to even think, you know, but I'm going to really go into this event and I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity to meditate and to turn off the noise. And the only time I'm going to be posting um, is when we set up to do the live Sunday sermon so that you all could be a part of that because I'm going to need that there for me for just the space that you all hold. And for it to be a little bit more like comfortable for me. For some reason, that's like, it's like a, it's like a, someone who does singing and they have a guitar and like, they don't feel comfortable without their instrument. It's kind of my security blanket. So I'm going to have y'all as my security blanket. So that is the first big piece of news. Um, let me pull that down while we um, go to the next thing. Okay. So the next thing is, is that for the people who I am your concierge, which is everybody, I think, um, we have some new flour. So we have new flour. What you do? I didn't see it. I saw your, you pop over there. Um, we have uh, citral haze and pink rosé. So um, both very interesting. I tried both this evening. And so here's what I'm going to tell you, right? So citral haze, I found that to be a lot more uplifting and more, uh, even though it is a indica hybrid, it has an ultra sativa, um, a super sativa as one of its cross. And I am definitely telling you right now that I feel like it is more of a sativa blend. So the citral haze is going to be more of your uplifting, like go get stuff done. Do, 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 do. Like I'm talking a mile a minute. So I feel like that was definitely citral haze. Um, now the pink rosé, uh, I took uh did it differently so the way that i partook partook in partaken i don't know the way that i had tried the citral haze was that i did that by grinding it and packing a bowl so that's how i did the citral haze that's how i tried it which when you grind it i feel like it opens up the terpenes and kind of like 
I don't like how I'm like, it's kind of like opening a bottle of wine and allowing it to breathe. That's how I feel about it, like the way it kind of tastes, right? So that central haze, I did smoke a bowl of that, right? So I felt like it really got me going. I got up, I cooked dinner, I did all the things. Like I was like, I'm cool, like I'm happy, I'm in a good mood. So then right before we came on the live, um, I was like, oh, I need to try and taste the other pink rosette. Let me pop had somebody pick up their order. So I opened the bag and I um smelled great. I was like, let me, it's kind of it's real dense, um, not as dense as the last um cinnamon and galactic runts but it's dense so it's heavy um so i enjoyed like popping open the, the bud and kind of looking at it i felt like the aroma blossomed when we popped open the bud and we smelt it um and that was a definitely a turpy high so i got a little bit more of a head high from that and it kind of relaxed my body a little bit um so the um pink rosé uh what i read about that also was that it's great for chronic pain and it's great for um and it is great. It's kind of like a wine buzz without the hangover, right? That's what the name came from, the way that it has like that that kind of like fruity aroma. So they're both really light tasting um, buds. Um, they are both uh, right at 24 to 26%. So they're right in the same kind of category. A lot of you are going to probably try a little bit of both or have a little at one point or another. But if you are looking for that... Um, Pick, pump you up and get you going. I'm going to suggest it and I'm going to update the flavors tonight. If you need to go ahead and place your order tonight, you can always put that in the note that you want the uplifting one. You don't, you don't have to pick. I can, I'll know which one you want. Um, and then, you know, the pink rosé is kind of the, the body buzz and the central haze. So it's not central, it's citral, like S C I T R E L citral. Um, so they're both, they both taste great. But one is definitely going to give you more of an uplifting buzz, and the other one's going to kind of give you that more of that little like, like drunken kind of body buzz, right? So that's what we have. That's another big announcement we had tonight. So we have twelve people watching. Um, we're seventeen minutes in. I'm not going to be the asshole that like keeps everybody on forever tonight because we're going to find that lives are going to be a lot more succinct and to the point because a lot of big things are happening. A lot of big things are happening. So. Can I get y'all do me a favor? Just because I just because I'm nervous to even say it out loud, it's a big deal to announce this out loud. Can y'all drop me? Can y'all just pound the hearts and the um, likes and all the things and all? Can y'all give me some like? Can y'all blow up the comments for me and hit the react button? Okay, so hometown hippie elevated edibles has is is the joy of I love 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 my business. All right. And um, we are growing at an exponential rate, and I am forever grateful for all of that. Um, but we are at a place in time right now where we are outgrowing my capacity um, to operate <laughs> um, in, within the confines of my home, right? Within the confines of my home. And... Um, I need some separation of church and state, right? I need some separation between like being at home and having family time and people just randomly showing up at my house because it happens. Uh, as you'll notice, my um, address is no longer on the uh, website um, because we have some exciting news to announce. So uh, I'm going to ask y'all to drop me. So I'm going to see if the hearts are, are the hearts flowing in or the thumbs up coming uh, do y'all want to know what's happening? Let's go. Let's go, right? So, um, Red and I, if you've noticed, I've been a little, my eight things have been a little crazy. Red and I have been talking, and we are ready to go. We are at phase two of the Hometown Hippie Saga. Uh, we are at phase two. We are moving into phase two. And we are um, officially, as of September the 1st, uh, as of September the 1st, this is the future home of Hometown Hippie, Elevated Edibles, Private Catering, and Heart of Virginia Hydro. This is a cultivation and wellness center. So um, we will have everything you will need um, for your needs, right, from, um, from growing it all the way through everything, magical butter machines, all of it, uh, including uh, ability to um, have all your events catered, all the things. 
we are we are officially uh, in a commercial space. Um, I know that place. Congrats. <laughs> um, yes. So we are officially. Um, we are officially uh, going to have this building as of September 1st. We went today, met with the landlord, made the arrangements, took care of all the things. We um, will start build out, um, start build out on the 1st. We are going to, uh, we've already reached out to vendors. We are going to, we have so much stuff. We have so much stuff. It's going to be an event center. A pro, it's going to have so many things. I'm going to offer sound baths and yoga and cultivation. And you'll be able to, um, this is where you'll come and you'll be a part of the private membership club for the, there'll be two entrances. You'll be able to come in and pick up your orders right there. Um, it's, we're going to have events in the parking lot all the time. We're going to have food truck rodeos and we're going to have fruit stands and uh, organic grocery attached and all these things are coming at a later time. But right now it's going to be a commercial kitchen, which is going to allow you to have your, um, your, if you need a birthday cake or you need catering done, we can do all of those things right um, from our new location. It's an inspectable kitchen. So now we are 100% able to take care of your dinner parties to go, your weddings, um, whatever it is you need as a private events caterer, we're able to handle it for you. Um, we are going to be building out into phases. We have a lot of different things as the multi-use space. Like I said, we are going to have um, your auto pot systems, your soils that you need, your nutrients you need, classes on how to grow. Our farm to table classes will be taught here. There will be um, farm to table classes. There will be um, infusing cooking classes. There will be the ability for you every single evening. Um, the reason that I ask about how many nights a week you cook dinner, one of the things we're doing is partnering with local farmers and local um, uh, local food sources, right, to be able to offer. Um, you to pick up your dinners um, family style for the same price of eating out or less, right? And you'll be, have the ability to pick up local organic food kits. So if you want to have dinner for like Monday through Friday night, you'll be able to come in on Saturdays and pick up your like, like your HelloFresh box, but it would be a local organic HelloFresh box that we create. Uh, and then if you are a Grateful Fed member, you can always like put add, like change the recipe by adding this oil versus that oil, right? If you're doing it that way. So we are super excited to get things going. Um, but I'm, and we're hoping, and this is the plan y'all. So I need you to remember to take care of the plan on all of your holiday shopping with the hometown hippie. You're going to have everything you need in there. I'm going to be putting together taste of farm bill baskets. So you can have a little, I'm going to go around and do shop local stuff, right? Get all the local people to say, here's what we can do. Let's do these. People can gift out these gift of farm bill baskets. It's starting with your each hometown. Uh, I have been growing this business as, um, bare knuckling it right i have we have been doing this um i mean you know what i'm saying if some of y'all have been with me since the the packaging looked like ziploc bags and a saran wrap and then we have just been moving in the right direction and i want everyone watching me to hear this okay if you have a dream if you have something that seems so big that you just cannot obtain like tammy I couldn't do that. People tell y'all say to me all the time, I could never do what you do. And I'm going to tell you what I honestly, what I mean with that bullshit. I am calling complete bullshit. If you're looking at me right now and you have a dream in your heart and you are willing to get up every day and work on that dream without, without making any money, without having any reward for it. If you love something enough to get up every day and put your blood, sweat, and tears into it, no matter what it pays, what it gives you back, but you love it that much, and you have an idea, every day get up and do that. Every day get better at that. That's how this started for me. I know that my calling is to feed people both literally and figuratively. I'm here to feed your mind, body, and soul. And um, three years ago, I was bankrupt. 
three years ago, I lost my $300,000 house in Chesterfield. I lost my job. I lost two vehicles. I almost lost my marriage and I, I was losing my health. Uh, every time I picked a cigarette up and every time I put a fork to my mouth, I was eating and smoking and, mi and miserably mi making myself miserable and believing that I would, and, and I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, don't believe the hype y'all. If you want something, all you have to do is go after it. I promise you. And here's the thing. It's all in divine time. Every time that I had a big idea and a big thing I wanted to do and all the things, right? Um, if I would have listened to that voice that told me that, you know, Tammy, you don't, you don't have a pot to piss in and one to throw it out the window. You don't even have, you can't do that. And, you know, I can't go to the bank and I can't borrow a half a million dollars to buy a building. Can't do that. Right. You don't when you lose a house three years ago, you don't get to go to the bank and do that. But you pay your bills on time moving forward and you work your ass off and you do all the things you have to do and you sacrifice and you, you put the hard work in and you save the money and you do it. And you do it a phase at a time and a stove at a time and a pan at a time and one ice cream cookie scooper at a time. And that's how I did it. I throw a pampered chef party and take my rewards and buy stuff that I want to use in my home bakery. I would watch uh, endlessly podcasts on gondrepreneurs and how to start businesses. I would take every social media class I could take. I would watch baking shows of, on end. I would practice techniques. I would read books. I would do the work on myself. What I'm saying is that it's possible. Is it easy? I'm not saying that it's easy. And I'm going to give myself credit for doing the hard work, right? but it is possible. And I want, I want y'all to know that it is, I know what impossible feels like because this felt bigger than impossible to me. And if nobody, I mean, y'all probably have an idea, right? You probably have an idea of how important this is to me. Um, but, uh, I, this, I get, you know, I, I did it because we deserve a place, a safe space that is um, comfortable and clean and all the things, right? All the things. And I said in jest, right? In jest, I'm going to take my, I don't know. I love looking at this picture. It's like my favorite thing to see, right? Uh, my favorite thing to see. I'm going to take this down for a second. Um, give me a sec. I'm going to take this down for a second. Um. I said in just a few years ago um, that I wanted to be the pioneer woman of pot, right? That I wanted to, I wanted to educate and advocate and help people do things in this space. I'm going to have an office to be able to set up um, consultations, to be able to sit down with you and figure out a food plan, um, a, a, um, your entire wellness, like how do you want to put things in your house that are going to change, right? How can I help you to put put the things in your home that are delicious, that are local, that are organic, that are uh, to your highest and best, right? Uh, let's we we talk about like as women and as even anybody, right? And these are things we can ship out as well, like some of these things. But I'm going to encourage each and every one of you, if you're not in my hometown, to go out and seek out. The local people who are making, who are growing mushrooms, who are um, not those kind, but regular ones, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, farmers, right? Uh, uh, beef shares, uh, pig shares, chickens, things like that. So that's what we're going to help do, right? So if you can't afford an entire half of a cow, well, I can't, right? The store can't. So we can buy the, the beef share have it butchered and hold it so that you can purchase those meats at a reasonable price, less than you can get at Walmart that's shipped from China, right? Less than you can get from, uh, the, you know, from the local area and you'll be able to get fresh organic food, but you don't have to spend the $3,000 and have a chest freezer, but you can eat a local piece of meat that's not full of antibiotics for your children uh, I want to work with some new moms who want to come in and do baby food making um, 
you know, um, workshops where you're creating that together and you're creating a community space and, uh, it, and being able to offer the food preps and saying, okay, fine, you know, I can offer the meal plans for this price, but I can also offer the meal plans and a discounted rate if you want to come in and chop it yourself and work together and I you chop onions, you chop green beans, you do this and we put these things together because I'm going to have meals we can pick up and it'll have the instructions like, hey, dump this pan on your sheet pan on this temperature for 30 minutes and you've got dinner for a family of four. Because I have those recipes, and but they tell you like a 30 minute meal, it takes you two hours to prep it. I get that. But if you've got Monday through Friday's dinners, number one, I was like, who hates Tammy Fresh, right? Um, who hates having to even decide what's for dinner, right? Just having to make the decision of like, what are we going to have? And we ha I have a tons of menu options that you can pick your five meals every week, chicken stir fry. Um, you know, uh, an Italian meal, like a pasta meal. We can do gluten-free. We can do vegan. We could make sure, and you could have add-ons where versus you buying um, little Debbie cakes that are full of all of the stuff, you can get a dozen of regular, for your family, granola bars or um, cookies or whoopie pies that are homemade. And I'm not trying to charge you an arm and a leg for them, right? Um, I want you to be able to come pick up your grocery box on Saturday and have everything that you need to consume for your week, right? Your stuff, their stuff, our stuff, everybody's stuff, right? And then we are going to have the uh, most amazing store with, we're going to have nice hand-blown glass pieces if you do smoke. Uh, we're going to carry specific papers. We're just going to only carry raw products. We're not carrying game blunt wraps, none of that kind of nonsense. We are going to carry raw paper, some hemp things, um, some glass pieces that are like art pieces, crystals, tarot. I'm going to offer group Reiki. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have a private outside area. We're going to have events. We're going to have clone wars and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, baby, we like it raw. Yes. And we're going to offer puff and paints and we're going to offer pitch and puffs like cornhole tournaments and we're going to put some greenhouses out there and I'm going to have things where you can pick your own salad and green walls you can grow you can pick herbs off the walls and just a lot of fun stuff and we are doing it a phase and a piece and a part of the time and um that's why I've been a little MIA that's why I've been a little overly stressed that's why the world needs to slow down I was getting overwhelmed with myself. I was getting nervous. I was second guessing the dream. I'm like, oh God, I'm going to lose everything. I'm like, what am I going to lose? I'm like, I'm not going to lose anything. I'm like, I'm renting the building. I'm like, I'm renting the building. And I've pissed away money before. <laughs> like, you know, like anything I put in it is mine. I'm like, I'm not financing anything. I'm like, I'm paying for it all. I'm like, and I need a commercial oven. And you know, like, what am I? I'm not, I'm thinking, I'm overthinking this, right? No risk, no reward. God can't navigate a parked car and um i am super excited about it so with that being said a couple of things right we are going to be super busy coming up we're getting into the holidays now what the plan is so everybody knows is that there'll be no kind of lull in service we might be closed for a weekend maybe a week between like here and there right we will be full swing for the holidays. Um, the plan is to be able to be up and running. I will be offering um, Thanksgiving. I will be my plan and my hope, and this is what I'm setting an affirmation, like we ought to hold this space for me, is that my goal is to be up and running enough by November, right? That we want to do our soft opening. We're hoping the first week of November. Uh, and then we'll have the cultivation store open. I will be then taking catering appointments, a catering appointments, and um, to be able to set up anyone who would like Thanksgiving. Um, I will be doing Thanksgiving however you need it, regular or otherwise, Friendsgivings or Thanksgivings, right? Um, so both ways, except depends on where you're coming from, right? Uh, do one of each however you need it, right? I'll also be doing like specific things, like if you just need to bring macaroni and cheese. Or you just need to bring stuffing. Or you just need to bring rolls. Or you just need to bring uh, a pie. So you'll be able to have, there'll be a full service bakery in there. I'm hoping by then like a catering banquet, you know, pre-orders only, cakes, things like that for the holidays. 
Um, and those will be, um, we'll make appointments to talk to you about how we need that stuff to look. Uh, and then we are not going to start offering the family style meals until the first of the year. We will kick those off in January. That's going to, we're going to only do the holidays. We're going to get through the stoner stockings and the advent calendars and all of those things. Um, so we're going to get through uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas with holiday catering and the uh, uh, gift baskets, like the Taste of Farmville baskets and the um, other events. And then we'll have the cultivation store, which is going to be a full service grow opera store. So it'll have your lights, your soils, your nutrients, anything you need to grow uh, your plants. So we will make sure we're teaching you how to do it. We're helping you along the way. Uh, there will be um, tons of fun stuff uh, going on. Yes, it was voice. It's got to be Kendall. He was, oh my goodness, the pineapple upside down cake was the bomb. I can't thank you enough. It was spectacular and voice. Yay. And I, um, you know, it's, it's that one of my biggest joys and the things that like fills me up so much is knowing that the the things that I make, the reason I ask for testimonial Tuesdays, number one is the people here because they believe you because you are the people who are trying the, the items. But number two, they really do fill my cup up and they give me that like love language that I need to keep moving something. I go back through when I was like really struggling this week, like having panic attacks about like, is this what I really want to do? Is this what I really want to do? Is this what I really want to do? <laughs> right? Do I want to just, can I just stay small and stay comfortable? Right? Um, and I'm like, but that's not what this is about, right? This is about um, helping and I can't help. I need to help. So I got to grow into helping more people, right? But being able to hear that and to see how much you're enjoying those things and hearing about it, I can absolutely tell the of love and everybody. It one million trillion percent is. And I am um, forever like hands on Reiki on and I like do this. And I have been really, um, really intentionally like when I read those testimonial things, like, and I talk like you say, like, for example, there was a lady who talked about using the Rice Krispie Treat or the Fruity Pebbles Bar for an earache. So when I made those, I remade those this afternoon. I had, I said, you know, I was like, this is great for, this helped her. And I'm like, if it help, anybody else has a chronic earache or a toothache and all the things, I'm like, make sure that it helps with that. Because I'm like, now somebody's going to use it for that. And I have, we have extra intentionality. So now that we know that, right? Now we also use terpenes and we use specific strains to be able to uh, isolate that medicine as well. But knowing that the um, intentionality in the Reiki and the and with the plant-based medicine, how well it's working for everyone, it just it just does something to fuel me up, right? And whenever I'm fueled up, things like this happen, things like this happen, and I'm adding this back to stream because that's my that's my building, y'all. I'm showing you something. Look at this. Look, look. Oh, let me let's see. This is where the magic is. We have we have like look. We have lots. We have the we have a lot of parking, right? We have a lot of parking. This is an older picture. We also have back here, we have a whole like um, gated in area, a private area. So we have so it's, it's, I have plans y'all. I have plans. And this building has got all the things that we need for the plans. Um, watch me win, watch me win, I got so many plans. And Kendall was on here. We want to give him a big shout out, y'all. Y'all give him a big shout out. Give him a big shout out, like Pete Giadro. Because, you know, we're working with them and they are kind of our mentors in business with this, with this, um, with the grow and the cultivation side. And I can't wait to do more stuff like with them and like do fun contests and back and forth. And I think we should get signs and like call each other out because, um, and let me tell y'all another thing, because this is why I know that it's, it's kismet. Because um, Kendall, today we were talking and doing some math, <laughs> and uh, 222 came up, and that's his number, too. That's my, I was like, that's my angel number, and his wife's like, that's his number. I'm like, so um, we know for a fact that we are definitely soul family, and um, they are forever in our hearts, and they are definitely our, um, our partners in all of this, and however that happens, because we love them to death, and they love us to death, I think. <laughs> and... Let me tell y'all, he was talking about my lives, but Kimmy just goes from one topic to the other. 
and we were riding down the road this afternoon and um i was reading this thing on um facebook and it said um some people are embarrassed to be corny but i'm living that cob life baby you know like that is so me i'm living that cob life um i i am so excited like um amanda just said i love how excited you are and i am so excited like i am so excited i'm doing my best crips <laughs> that's funny so here's what i'm going to tell y'all there are a couple of things that are going to be a little bit different okay so my menu is giant and it is vast right and with moving into the new space and moving into uh, a new quarter, the menu is going to change. The menu is getting ready to change. So September 1, when we go into this new building, there will be an updated version of the menu, okay? Things that are not moving right now, things have just kind of been sitting. If you have something that you love, you need to get an order in for it this month, okay? I'm, I'm not saying that to be like, you know, like I'm really meaning it. We're going to update the menu. I'm going to go by the top seller. So for the, till we get open for that first quarter, um, I'm going to do some specialty things, but we're going to pare back the menu quite extensively for some of our, we had some summer fun stuff out, right? Uh, I don't know that pretzels are going to stay. I don't know that the whatchamacallit candy bars are going to stay. I don't know that all of the whoopie pies are going to stay. I don't know that a, blondies might not stay. Um, there are some things that might go away. So if you have something that you love, make sure that you order it and vote on it, okay? We are going to, uh, don't forget, Munchie of the Month box. This is What's Up Wednesday. $5 of each box this month goes to clearing off teachers' classrooms. I've had teachers, and I've been posting them, teacher list in here. Again, with all of the things that we do for giving, gifting and giving, if you have no need to spend money with me to gift to those things, you can always gift directly to that. That's why I've had teachers drop their list. There's always the power of one grateful fed fund. And that goes to our charity. I was joking. I was thinking about myself. I'm like, we might change the grateful fed fund starting September to the building fund. <laughs> Cause I got some build out to do, but the landlord today is super freaking cool and he's working with me and I am churros with stun me, strawberry sauce should stay. They were theirs are only a munchie of the month box and they have been not been back since then. But we'll have some stuff over the holidays that look like that that are coming back. Some the, the jams and jellies. I'm gonna with the commercial space, I can go into topicals. With the commercial space, I can go into jams and jellies and syrups and honey. Um with that, I can go into lozenges. With that, I can go into a lot of different things that I am trying to do that I didn't have outgrown my space, right? So don't play. I'm not playing. That's exactly what I'm doing. So um, that's the plan, man. Um, so that's what's up, right? What's up is that we are now, uh, as of September 1st, this is the future home of the Hometown Hippie, um, the Hometown Hippie brands, right? The house of Hometown Hippie. And I was saying we should name it THC, right? Let me tell you all my name. Let me, let me tell you what I was thinking, okay? So I want to create a banner. And I'm going to tell you what I thought the name should be. And it's THC, but I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of T's. I mean, a lot of H's and a lot of C's. I've only got two, three H's and, um, okay. Okay. This is the one, this is what I thought it should be. The Hometown Hippie Healing and Cultivation Center. <laughs> the Hippie Corner. Yeah, the Hippie Corner. Pretty much, exactly. The Hometown Hippie Healing and Cultivation Center. So it's T-H cubed C squared. <laughs> But it's going to be Hometown Epi Elevated Edibles, Private Catering, and Healing Center, uh, and um, then Heart of Virginia Hydro. Um, so that is the, the plan right there, the future home of Hometown Epi Private Catering and Heart of Virginia Hydro Cultivation and Wellness Center. Um, we're going to... 
be working our asses off. So anybody that wants to volunteer to work their asses off, we'll take it. I'll take the help. Um, I'm not gonna be even funny about it. Hell yeah, come get, you know until Red's like get him out of my way. And he's all mad at me. But um, we are super excited to be um, taking over this space as of September one. And note that the menu will be updating September one. It will be a lot less options. Um, to be able to make sure that we're keeping up with demands. So I want to make sure that there's no lack of quality and speed. So there's going to be things that I can make, um, that I can do those things for you um, and uh, keep keep the ball rolling, right? Uh, I say that every time and then the menu stays with the same stays, but I've really got to like pare it down. And we're just going to do that for probably September, October, and November. It's probably going to blow up when we get into that space. Uh, for the holidays because we're kind of pairing up we're, we're gearing up for the holidays so just be patient with us okay and we do have some fun stuff that's coming out that's going to be very seasonal it's gonna be awful awful uh you know i will i'm here for supervisory and verbal support <laughs> i know you are i know you are oh my god that's so funny i'm here for supervisory and verbal support uh, i also may have gotten so excited y'all that um, I did it. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> that is my favorite cake. Um, the carrot cake is one. Is like that's the one I picked for my birthday cake for my mother in law. That's her recipe. Of course, hers does not have that in it, right? I am too. Um, I uh, like I said. I this is the also a little thing about the pink rosé. What I just realized. Um, either it's creeper. Right, because I feel like it's getting round two, or that carrot cake is hitting. And um, I'm gonna go with carrot cake. <laughs> I'm gonna go with carrot cake because my shoulder just immediately stopped hurting. I was like, I was like, is this that creeper? Is that creeper? I was like, it's been a minute though. I was like, it's been 47 minutes. That is not creeper. <laughs> That's when I looked at the time, and then I was like. No, that's a carrot cake. <laughs> that's a carrot cake. But I did say that we were going to keep it brief. We we're going to be, I want to start being brief, be funny, be brief, and be gone. <laughs> that's what I'm going to try to do. Because I know that I can go on for hours and hours and always. Uh, however, I am a little like silly, silly tonight. So I'm probably going to jump over to TikTok and do What's Up Wednesday after hours. If I can, um, you know, get stay off the, the the radar and get stop getting banned so um here's the deal we are so excited that we are in the growth stage it's a little uncomfortable right now but we're getting there we're doing it for you we're going to have so many more amazing things offer you we're going to have business hours you'll be a you can go in you know it'll be a whole thing so easy um more to come on all of that there'll be an email going out to my um private club members uh, there will be a VIP sesh, like a private club area that's only accessible to members. And if you are not a member, <laughs> you want to be a member. And so um, I need to get, in, I'm going to be drafting some paperwork and all the things for that. Just hold tight. That's coming. We're, that's, that's down the pike a minute. You know, I'm trying to get everything kind of like my feet under me a little bit, right? But the big thing is this. The big thing is that you're going to have a place to come, sit down with me, have a discussion about what's going to suit your needs. We're going to put together a plan for you, right? If you're local, uh, I'll also be able to do Zooms and things like that. I'll have a lot more space. We'll have a commercial area to offer more offerings, um, both medicated and unmedicated, but plants over pills because organic food, um, vegetables are plants, right? Um, so uh, we are super excited for the next stage of this. Um, I want to need y'all to make sure that people know that we are we are we're good people, right? So word of mouth to me is the most important thing. So I hope that um, you know, considering the um, market that we're in, we're not doing anything wrong. We're going to have a cultivation store, which is where you can pick up the plants, um, the I mean the the planting soils, the lights, the tents. Um, you can grow tomatoes as well as you can grow cannabis in that tent, right? It is a cultivation and gardening store, okay? That is what that is. Um, my private catering is private catering. 
Um, I talk to each individual person and what they get is their private meal plan, right? Um, if you're 21 and up and you want extra magic added to your meal plan, we talk about that. And we talk about how to make that happen for you, right? But I gift that to you. And so there's nothing going on, you know, facetious. We're not doing anything crazy. So if you're local, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. And I'm going to ask you to say yes, give me some thumbs up. You're going to hear crazy stuff, right? You're going to have people that say crazy stuff when things start happening. If you're from my hometown, you know what I'm talking about, right? Please just let them know that we're just opening a gardening store. <laughs> and I'm just going to be able to, like, make farm-to-table organic foods for people. That, that it's nothing nefarious, that we're not doing anything crazy. Um, you know how far it is, so... Uh, we might have a little Reiki, right? We might have a little Reiki, but um, that's more than, that's just magic, right? And that's, and they can come talk to me about it. But um, I appreciate each and every one of you supporting us. Um, I'm going to actually try to get way fast to let me get them to deliver these farm style meals. So if anybody can get um, Ashley or Blake, if y'all can help me talk to Jacob about that starting in January, I'd like to have them on the list so that people can actually get um a homemade soup or a homemade salad um, and vegetables and a meatloaf and a, you know, t for dinner. And it'd be the same price as going to um, a McDonald's. And, you know, less than $10, 10, $10 or less a person is my price point for an organic home cooked meal. So um, that is my goal. It's always been about feeding the people. And if you know me, you know that. So on that note, thank you all so much for all of your support. Thank you for always listening to me be corny on the cob. I am going to go over to TikTok and be silly Tammy and just let my hair down and just be like, hell yeah, hell yeah, I did that. <laughs> so if you want to come over to, um, to the tickety talk, <laughs> I'm probably going to um, see which one I'm allowed to be logged in on right now, which is going to be 420, I think. Um, let me see if I can even go live. I can, and it's going to be on Hometown Hippie 420 tonight. And I'm going to have to be on my best behavior because they keep kicking me off. I've even got a shirt that says just a phase versus anything crazy. So if you're not already doing it, you can follow me at TikTok at, um, I'm probably going now so you can follow it or copy it. Um, and here is the um, here is the uh, hometown hippie 420 is what you can find me on TikTok. I'm gonna go over there and talk a bunch of nonsense and be silly and tell y'all about um, some other stuff. Um, so thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Super excited for the next phases and all the things that are happening. If you've not already signed up for the retreat, get signed up for the retreat if you're a female over the age of 21 and you're local, and I will hook you up. Uh, with a better price, just message me and I'll get you on the list. And then number two, uh, TikTok after dark. And then number three, future home of hometown to be um, West Bird shooting the farm bill. So and on that note, peace, love, and feast. And as always, stay elevated. I'll see y'all later.